So in the previous tutorial, we have made this uh, enemy bounce. And the way we've done this is as soon as the world loads, we have the enemy move at a speed. And then when it hits the blue object, it then bounce back and forth between two points. So every time we hit, we are changing the enemy speed from a positive to a negative value. Now, what happens if you want to get the uh, enemy to actually flip? Now, in this example, um, our enemy doesn't need to flip. But let's change the enemy a little bit. And let's edit this. And let's make it so that our enemy has eyes which are over sort of one sort of area. So in order to do this, I'm just going to be really quick with this and put in our... Um, quick eye. So I'm going to put, ooh, needs to be a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is just draw a really quick circle here, which is roughly about this. In fact, no, that's not where near center. Anyway, let's try and get it towards the center. Okay. So what we've done there is if we draw this now in, in white, there you are. And what I'll do now is I'll start off by just drawing a little eye. Maybe we'll draw a bigger eye. And because my enemy starts off looking at that way, we've got one single eye looking. Now, if I play this game, because obviously all we've done now is edit the enemy. So you can see now the enemy just still bounces and it's always looking this way. So what we want to do is we want to flip the enemy so that it faces the other way. Now, to do this, there's two things you'll need to do. The first thing, is you need to change the origin of the player so that it's within the center otherwise the flip won't work now if you have just changed the origin then you need to go back to your room and just move your player a little bit which is fine and what we then do is we open the enemy code so i double click on the o enemy and then we need to do a slight modification okay so what we need is uh, to create a new variable in here and I'm going to call this facing and we're going to set it to a value of one now when we hit the solid we need to add in a new assigned variable and I've done that just by clicking the plus and we're going to say facing and then we're going to do exactly the same like we've done with enemy speed we're going to have facing multiplied by negative one now, what we also need to do is we need to change the direction of the sprite. Now, if I scroll down here, you have a set instance scale. Now, if I just play this for now, nothing really is going to happen. So if we just play this code, what you're going to see is the enemy is going to move to the left and the right and bounce back and forth, but it doesn't actually flip. So... The genius of this comes where we multiply this by the facing variable. Now, don't forget the facing variable starts off positive, And then when it hits the blue, the O solid, it essentially is multiplied by negative one. So then it becomes minus one. And then when a minus one gets multiplied by minus one, it gets to be turned into a positive number. If we just watch this. So it hits and then it switches and then switch back and it'll continuously do that depending on obviously what you are doing and where it is or when it hits. So hopefully that is being okay. If there's any problems, let me know.